do an eye round roast today. We have the eye round over here. Got some baby potatoes. We're going to be using some of those. And David's going to chop up some of the celery. I'm just, it's going to go into an oven bag, right? It will be going right into the oven bag, correct. We have the bag in season. Once again, Ben McCormick's. It is one of our favorite brands. Cut it about an inch to a half inch thick all the way down. And we're going to add the baby potatoes. We don't usually use baby potatoes, but they were on sale. We grabbed them, thought it would go really well with the roast here. And this is the bag in season. Be careful when you're taking it out because it has a little black tie that you're going to need to use it. And we always poke holes in the bag so it has a ventilation. It tears open. And then we're going to rinse a few of the potatoes and get the bag ready and prep the meat. David is starting to get the bag ready. Now that the celery is chopped. And he's running the water for a minute, just so it runs. I'm going to fill up the measuring cup. One cup of water? Quarter cup of water. Quarter. I actually put a third in. He does a third a cup of water. Then I'll put the spices in. And then we add our own black pepper and garlic, too, just a tad. Nope. No? Okay. I like to add a little bit of garlic to things. I'll garlic. I'll, I will garlic that. He's going to add about a teaspoon of garlic. He's going to drop the celery into the bag. And then we're going to take care of the seasoning mix. Just dump it right into the measuring cup. I have, how many potatoes do you think? Maybe a couple handfuls. And they're very small potatoes, so they're going to cook well with the eye round. And they'll season nicely, too. I think that's enough, or should we do another little handful? I think another handful would be perfect. Another handful? I like to dip my meat in the au jus. I'm going to get to use the gravy boat today, so I'm excited about that. Got a gravy boat from Elizabeth Reed, one of the viewers here for my channel. Pour the packet right into the water, and then he's going to stir it up, usually with his Hercules knife. Until all the powder is mixed in well with the water. Then we're going to dump it into the bag and dump in about a teaspoon of garlic and rinse the meat. We wash our meat off and we just rinse it lightly. My grandmother did, my great grandmother did. It's a generation thing. Then we're going to put a teaspoon of the garlic right onto the roast and then it's going to go into the bag. Two pound roast. I try to get what you want to do is just dump it on in. I like to dump it right on the meat and then have the seasonings on it. And then, then you add a little extra water to the metric cup so all the seasonings come out. That's what I do. What Nothing I do? goes to waste. You can add carrots if you wish. We're not a carrot eating family. And you tie it up and then close it with a little tie provided and poke a couple of holes for installation. Freezing room. This is going to go into a 400 degree preheated oven for how long? 350 degrees for an hour. For two 350 pounds. degrees for about an hour. Right in the bag. I'm going to take one of these little. I use push a fork, he uses push pins. One, two, three. This also makes it easy for the gravy to pour out into the pan when it's done, right? Yep, I just pour everything out. In the and then pan. we're going to get to use, as I mentioned, the gravy boat that was gifted to me from a viewer. Very excited. And we put it in the center of the rack for about an hour. And the oven is preheated to 350. Yep, I don't even need to. Take a peek at the roast and see how it's doing. Oh, it smells so good already. You can see it, it's all bubbling on the inside of the bag there. Take the gravy boat out and get it ready for the counter. This is one that I got from our viewer. It is so pretty. I really like it a lot. And we're going to use it for Easter dinner tomorrow, too, for all our special dinners on the weekends and holidays. I'm going to take the roast out 
and check it with their thermometer. We always check our meats with the thermometer, make sure it's safe. Yeah. We want it at 145 because we want a uh, medium. Good thing is you right back there. Oh, it looks so good. That's got a long way to go. It's only at 90 degrees. Basically here. And he's going to use the swatted spoon to scoop out the potatoes. And get them over to the platter. And you just make sure they're cooked. With the roast. Yes, they are. They're they cooked all the way through. They're tiny. I'll show you what the platter looks like before it goes to the table. What it looks like on the platter with the potatoes and celery and the roast is perfect. It looks and smells delicious. Now we're going to get the gravy into the gravy boat and bring everything we're going to the start table. cutting the eye round. And we have the gravy boat out and the green beans. I'm just going to scoop out some potatoes on our plates and then I'm going to get some green beans on and some au jus like little golf balls or super balls I can't wait to try these and some green beans Here's what my plate looks like now that it's done. Now it's for the gravy. With my new gravy boat from our viewer, Elizabeth.